July and August is pear season in Taiwan. Taipei City's double-decker restaurant bus is now serving Michelin-starred Cantonese meals and giving out free pears from Taichung's Dongshi District. In addition, a car rental company is working with the Taichung District to offer agricultural tours starring pears. Our reporter Stephanie Yang has the details. If you eat on the Taipei restaurant bus, you can receive complimentary pears. In collaboration with a five-star hotel in Taipei, the Taipei City government is bringing Michelin-starred Cantonese meals to its sightseeing bus service. The bus will also be giving out pears from Taizong's Dongshi District. From July 15th to August 14th, if two people ride the bus together, they will receive a free box of pears. Patrons in Taipei can enjoy fresh products from our farms. If they have time, they can also come by our recreational facilities for our farming experience to pick pears and to stay at our villas. We're promising our countryside eco-trips. July and August are our harvest season. In addition, there will be weekly tours in Dongshi from July 15th to August 6th. Visitors can join day trips or two-day tours. We start our tours on July 15th, mainly to coincide with the pears harvest season. For about 20 days, the pears will be most ripe. We will offer one-day tours every day. Each group will be limited to 20 or so people because they'll be going to pick pears on mountains. Therefore, we will be using our largest vehicles. There are about 20 seats. We will also offer two-day itineraries, which should be popular among families and those who want to pick fruit. The global tourism industry has indeed been hit by the epidemic in recent years. In Taiwan, agriculture tourism has felt the impact. In the first year of the epidemic, average revenue declined by at least 10 percent. In the second year, the drop was at least 25 percent. This year, my conservative estimate is that revenue will drop by about 40 percent. But I believe that in the second half of the year, the epidemic will gradually ease. I think that our unique, in-depth agricultural tourism experiences will be very popular among foreign tourists. With the world reopening, the government hopes to boost agricultural tourism and give tourists a fresh way to see Taiwan. FTV reporter Stephanie Yan Liang Junle in Taipei.